Hello everyone, welcome to another Juniper webinar edition. I'm glad to be here with you one more time. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Miguel Angel Hinojosa, Juniper Product Manager, and we are here today to present a new model, the Uni Hotel model. Remember, referring to the webinar, you have on the right hand a control panel. In this control panel, you can make any questions. These questions are going to be answered as soon as possible, and those questions that will not be answered, I will send you an email. Right, once we have explained this, we are going to start checking the agenda. Today, we are going to see an introduction. What is Uni Hotel? How it works? What adds value does Uni Hotel offer to my business? A demo in life where we will be able to see the tool and we are going to check how you can set up the module. And finally, the last stage, the summary where we are going to inform you where you can find more information about this module and also where you can visualize this webinar again in case you want to watch it in the future. Okay then, let's start with the introduction. And as you can observe, we've introduced a new concept in our webinar. Thanks to this graph, you can get a clearer general view about all the products that Juniper has. Also, we are going to use this graph to explain you what model we are going to see, which one we have seen, and which ones are pending to see. In the previous webinar, we have talked about business intelligence, explaining how you can improve your business thanks to this tool. If you didn't have the opportunity to assist, remember that you have the video available in your support platform. We will offer you more information at the end of this webinar. In this case, and for the webinar of today, it's a pleasure for me present the unique hotel module. As you can observe, the position is the same that the business intelligence model. They are in the area of additional services. I inform you for future webinars that we are going to use two different colors. Yellow color means past webinars. With this color, we are going to identify the webinar that we have already done. Also, it could be useful for you to identify what webinars are ready to be watched through your support platform. And another color, the red color means the current webinar the webinar that we are going to see in this moment. Anyway, to start, the first thing that we need to ask is, what is Uni Hotel? We are going to offer you three main characteristics of this model. Unip Uniper Unique Hotel allows you to offer hotel results without duplicates and prioritize them by price or supplier. Uni Hotel has the objective of uniting all accommodation from different suppliers, obtaining a hotel list without duplicates, offering the least expensive price or the price from a supplier with the highest priority. And the last one say, with Uni Hotel, you will obtain an extensive worldwide hotel database. Once we know the definition and we know what it means, we are ready to see how it works. In this graph, we are going to identify each element, and in this way, we will be able to explain you a step by step how Unique Hotel works. Point number one first of all, Juniper downloads from the supplier all the information that we need to do the combination. The download period depends on each supplier. Juniper tries to download frequently to get all the information as recent as possible. Point number two. Once we run this download process, we store this information in our database with all the information that the supplier returned to us. Point number three, once we get the data, and thanks to the Juniper algorithm, we make the mapping about all the hotels and suppliers creating the unique codes. If some of you already have the unique hotel module, you are going to know this nomenclature, JP000. Point number four, when the process has already finished, Juniper is in charge to make the maintenance task to this unique hotel to create it, refresh it, and map it. In this point, Juniper can say that we have currently mapped the 95% of all of our supplier hotels, and therefore, they have their unique hotel ID. Only the 5% could not be mapped due to wrong or lack of information about the suppliers. Point number five, once we have all the hotels mapped, and we are talking now about the searcher, 
you have to consider that, uh, as we have explained before, we are not going to have results about the hotel that doesn't have unique ID. Remember that it's only the 5%. If you detect some hotel duplicates, you can open a new ticket and we are going to map it for you. Point number six, and regarding the search result, we can highlight that by default, we are going to offer the best price or the cheapest hotel. Another possibility that we are going to see in the demo in life is through the configuration. You can choose what supplier you want that appears in the product list. We will see in the demo in life how we can do it. Point number seven, and finally the last point, we want to say that we have different processes to get the unique hotels. The first one, duplicate unique hotel checking utility. The next one, external accommodation mapping checking utility. And the last one, accommodation in suppliers not mapped to unique hotel checking utility. And this is how it works. I hope after this explanation, you are not getting doubts about how you need to create the unique hotel ID. Well, what else? It's important to know how it works to get a clearest idea. But the most important thing that you have to consider is what add value does the unique hotel offer to my business? I consider this stage the most important because you are going to see the unique hotel functionalities. For example, we are going to leave the main five positive points. It offers a hotel resort list without duplicates. You may block or unblock suppliers. It allows to sort the hotel resort by, by price or by supplier. You may edit the hotel profile and create own content. And if you combine it with business intelligence, you will be able to prioritize the supplier that, res that responds better. Once we, has, once we have explained of all, all of this, we are ready to see a demo in life. We are gonna spend around uh, 15 minutes and basically we are gonna see how we can set up the unique hotel. Well, I cannot that you are not sending me questions. I invite you to make questions, and in this way, I will be able to answer it as soon as possible. Well, we are going to follow with the demo in live. Okay, then um, let's open a new a new browser and go to demojuniper.com. Now here we can. Uh, search a hotel, for example, in Palma de Mallorca. Once we press on search, we can observe that the web page redirects to the Prada list, showing the hotel list. Here is where we can see that we don't have duplicate hotels, and this is thanks to the Uniper Unique ID. If we want to find the Uniper Unique ID, you can go to your internet. And once you are logging, you can go to accommodation and press on new. Here we can see the hotel data sheet when we create a new accommodation and we can observe that a new field, JP code. Uh, and thanks to this code, we don't have duplicate hotels, right? Well, once we know where we can find the Uniper ID code when we when we create an accommodation, we can continue to see how we can set up the module of Uni Hotel. As you can observe, you can find uh, the options if you press in accommodation and unique hotel. Here you can see four different options, blocking maintenance, accommodation types maintenance, suppliers order management, and configuration. If we go to the first setup option, blocking maintenance, we can observe that we have a searcher where it allows a filter by Juniper area, Juniper code, name. You can list all the accommodation that it has already been blocked uh, or, or unblocked and by suppliers. 
We are going to choose uh, to see an example of uh, Palma de Mallorca. And press on filter. The result list is a list with four information fields. You need a code. Here you can find the ID for a specific hotel as well. Name, block, and block suppliers. And as you can observe on the left hand, uh, you have the option to check the hotel. If we click on one of the checkbots, we are opening a new layer with more information where we can see three main parts. You need hotel information, blocking accommodation, and blocking suppliers. In the first part, we can see information about the hotel, name, address, coordinates, category. The next one is the part where we can block an accommodation. If we, lock in, if we block an accommodation here, we can identify it through the lock that is in the list. If we made the test, we can observe that now we have here an open lock. And now we have a closed lock for this specific hotel. And finally, uh, in this maintenance, to block the suppliers, here is where you can block one or many suppliers. If you are interested to show this hotel only with one specific supplier, so you have, you have to move the supplier that you don't want to the right hand. In this case, in this case we are going to move Mickey and to Rico. Because we want to use all the hotel base for this specific hotel, and we press on save. Now we can see that now we have a, a tick in green color. That means that this hotel has one or many suppliers blocked. Okay, then now let's suppose that you want to block many suppliers at the same time. So you can do it without any problem. You have to choose two hotels or more. For example, these three, and after this, uh, you you have to choose the option that you prefer. For example, to block uni hotel or suppliers, or to unblock uni hotel or suppliers. All, and also in this maintenance, you can move between pages. So you can select all to block or unblock all the items or, or the product list. And for example, you can also export to Excel to create your own reports, etc. And that's all in this specific part. Uh, as you can observe, this is a complete maintenance, and this maintenance allows you to block or unblock by hotel or by supplier. Well, we are going to move to the next stage to see another setup options. We are moving to accommodation, uni hotel, and accommodation types maintenance. Once we are here, you can observe that we are following the same look and feel of the tool. We are always trying to do an intuitive and an easy tool. Therefore, we are following with the search with practically the same fields. You need per area, name, you need per code, the block accommodation. Remember that you can list all the accommodation that has already been blocked. And the last one will be the new option, the disaccommodation type that you have create in your system. You can see it here. I inform you, just in case some of you don't have this information, that you can create these accommodation types in accommodation, accommodation data catalog. Here, you have all the accommodation data catalog. In our case, now we are interested to check property types. If we press on it, we can see the accommodation type that we have already seen in the search that we have explained before. From this list, we can edit an accommodation type, pressing on it, doing the changes, and pressing on the Save button. Or you can create a new one, pressing on New Accommodation Type, and fulfilling all the information. For example, we are going to create here a test. and pressing on save. At the same moment that we press on save, 
we are going to have ready this new accommodation type. Keep in mind, uh, for example, in this accommodation, the icon is in red color. It means that the accommodation is deactivated, and therefore you will not be able to use it. To use it, you have to activate it, uh, pressing in the checkbox and pressing on save. Right. Once we have explained this, we are going to move again to accommodation. We need hotel and accommodation type maintenance. And we are going to follow with the same example. We are going to choose Palma de Mallorca. And we are going to press on filter. We can see again all the hotels that we have available in this Juniper area with the information field Juniper code, name, and a block or unblock. If we choose one hotel, we can see the different setup option that we have. In this specific maintenance, we have two main parts. We have again the unique hotel information and the new one, the accommodation type. To see an example, we are going to say that this, ho this hotel is luxury. And we are going to press on save. Once we have saved it, if we want to check the, what catalog we have as a luxury hotel in Mallorca, we can go to the filter options, choose luxury as an accommodation type and press on filter. And here we can see all the hotels that we have in this catalog. We are gonna filter the game for all to get more information. And remember, you always have the option to do multiple selection. If we select two or more hotels and press on a thing selected, you can make multiple accommodation type selection. For example, we are going to say that this group of accommodation is a family hotels. So we choose family and we press on a sign and that's it. We have assigned this type in these accommodations. Right, well, once we have seen this part, we are going to see another setup option of uni hotel. We are moving on accommodation again, uni hotel, and suppliers order management. Here, we can see a new setup option. And as you can observe again, the look and feel doesn't change. We want to do easy for you. Therefore, we have the filter with practically the same fields, Juniper area, Juniper code, name, and block accommodation. So we are going to continue with the same sample. We are going to search for Palma de Mallorca. We are going to press on filter. And we can see another list with these fields, Juniper code, name, block, and a new field that is label. In this moment, if we press over one of the hotels, we can observe that we have four different sections. Unique hotel information, suppliers prioritization, label, and accommodation type assign. The most important part in the suppliers prioritization is this part. And we have two main options. You can select by price if you want that appears the cheapest supplier, or you can select for supplier prioritization if you want that this specific hotel works with a, with a specific suppliers. In this case, you have to move your favorite supplier to the right hand. Another functionality that we have in this maintenance is the label option. This, this option is basically for your own knowledge. You can use it to know what hotels have been processed and you can visualize this information through the hotel list. For example, if we prioritize this hotel and we uh, put the label hotel beds, we press on assign. You can see it in the hotel list, here in the, label, in the label field. In case you don't have label, you can create it. We can go to the maintenance, pressing on new. And here we can see that, that, that we can create the labels in different languages. And also we can prioritize the order. Anyway, 
In summary, this is a useful tool to put labels in the hotels to help you. And also this is useful to work with more than one person at the same time. And finally, the last part is accommodation type assign. That you can observe, this is a place where you can identify the accommodation type assign in the previous maintenance that we have talked before. Okay, once we have explained this, we are gonna follow with the last option that we have in the unique hotel model. We are going we are gonna go to accommodation, unique hotel, and we are gonna press now in configuration. The first thing that we can see here is the default configuration that we have. In this case, the configuration that we can see uh, is the default, uh, the default configuration. The default supplier that we have here is our own, um, own hotels. HBI means hotel booking engine. And also we can see that, that we don't have that the product list return all the combination about all of our suppliers. We can change this configuration only pressing on it, making the changes and pressing on the button save. Or if we have more than one cell channel, we can set up each one with a specific configuration. For example, we are gonna set up a new cell, uh, cell channel. We can press on add. We choose the mobile channel. We can say that our default supplier is hotel beds, for example. And now you can observe that hotel beds is our default supplier to show the hotel data sheet as well. If we move to this icon, we can see what it means. Basically, this missile say that, that we try to show the hotel data sheet of the supplier that we have assigned here. In case this supplier doesn't have it, we try to show the hotel data sheet of our own accommodation. And finally, if our own accommodation doesn't have it, we find the supplier that has one hotel data sheet available. Well, if we follow with this new configuration, we can say that we want that unique hotel return all the possible combination about all the suppliers. So if we want to do this, we have to check the check box. And this is really important option if we want to show all the possible combination of all of our suppliers. And also, in case you want to do it, we will be able to inform in your website the supplier name for each combination. Once we have done the changes, we are ready to press on save. And here we go we have a new cell channel configuration. Okay then, this is the last part of the demo in life. We have seen the most important part of the unique hotel that is the configuration. The part that is not configuration depends on your website. But basically the most important thing is, instead of you see the same hotel many times, now thanks to unique hotel, you are gonna see it once and you can create your own configuration choosing your favorite suppliers, prices, accommodation, hotel data sheet, etc. Okay then, I can see some interesting question that I'm receiving in, in this moment. For example, this one that says, if I hire the, the unique hotel, how can I map the hotels? Well, you cannot map the hotel for yourself. You need to open a new ticket and our support team will map for you. Well, I have uh, here another another question that, that say, I have already I have already the module. How can I fix duplicate hotels? Well, keep in mind that uh, who is in charge of this mapping is Juniper. Uh, for this reason, if you, you detect it's only the five percent that we don't have duplicate, but that, that we have uh, hotels duplicates. But in case you detect uh, duplicate hotel, you need to open a new ticket, and we are going to map as soon as possible. Uh, well, I can, I can see here another question: uh, Can you repeat the combination manage combination management? Oh yes, of course. But well, basically, if you if you put the mouse over the icon, you can see the definition. 
basically is uh, what the message says, allow to retrieve all combinations from different suppliers from the same JP code with, within a unique result, right? Okay, well, I have more questions, but we need to finish with the webinar because we don't have more time. But remember that I'm going to send you an email uh, replying all the questions that has not been answered. Anyway, we are moving to the PowerPoint again to see the last part. And as a summary, we can highlight these stages. Juniper Uni Hotel allows you to offer hotel resort without duplicates and prioritize by price or supplier. Uni Hotel has the objective of uniting all accommodation from different suppliers, obtaining a hotel list without duplicates, offering the least expensive price or the price from a supplier with the highest priority. And the last one says, with Uni Hotel, you will obtain an extensive worldwide hotel database. These points are a good summary about what Uni Hotel means and its advantages. But did you have any doubts? Remember, you can get more information in our corporate site or acceding directly to the URL unihotel.ajuniper.com. You will observe that we provide you more information about this model. And for more help, we also provide you more information in your support online. If you go to your support platform, you will see a new section at the top of the page. The first one is a banner that provides you information about the next webinar. As you can observe, the next one will be packages. When you see it coming soon, that means that we don't have dates yet. For this reason, you cannot press on the banner. Once we decide the date, we will refresh the image with the dates, and you will be able to press on it to register in to, for the webinar. And the second part is on the right hand. You will see three new buttons. Suggestion bots, you can write us your suggestion to know how we can improve our company. The next button is last new letter. If, we, if you press in this button, you will be able to check the last Unipo newsletter. And finally, we have the support online button. Here is the place where you can get access to this service. If we press in this link, you can see the home page and on right hand, a banner that say webinar. If we press on unique hotel webinar, you will see the article where you can read more information, you can watch again the webinar that you are assisting in this moment, and you can make questions as well. With this tool, we want that you get all the information in an easy way, and you will be able to ask all the doubts that you have in this specific model. Well, keep in mind that this article is not actual in your support platform. We are going to upload tomorrow. And in case you decide contact directly with me, you have here my contact details. And that's all. I take notes about all the questions that you have done, and you will receive an email with all the questions all the question that is, has not been answered. The next webinar that you have seen is about packages. I hope it will be interesting for you. In case you want uh, that we check another model for future webinar, you can notify us. As soon as I finish the webinar, you are going to see a satisfaction survey. And here you can tell us what webinar you want to see. A part of this, you can tell us what do you think about these webinars. And we want to know your opinion, right? So nothing else. Uh, I hope to see you in the next webinar. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.